Hey you guys, it's Shemaine here and welcome to my channel. I am so excited you guys. This is my very first YouTube video on my channel here at Cake Up and Curls. So just bear with me. Again, so many things in store. So I have this peachy bronze look. So really we're just going to get right into it. First I start setting my face with some Fix Plus by MAC. Then I go in with some of my Glow Glam Illuminizing Moisturizer in Nude Glow. Um, and then I like to prime also with the Versali Illuminating Serum. And I just rub that all into my face. Um, I'm also taking some NYX Pore Filler and I make sure I set all of that. Then I like to correct a little bit underneath my eyes, any dark circles that I have. Next you're gonna see me go in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation and I am in shade 340. And you're just gonna see me using a um, Y6 Morphe brush to blend that into my skin. So I just make sure I drag it down to my neck blend that in really good around my forehead I don't like to blend it all the way up to my underneath my eyes because then I did I do go back in with concealer and um, so just here you'll just see me blending and here you see me concealing I am using the born this way concealer and shades tan and then I go over top of that um, and do a little bit more highlighting with the shade medium tan it's a little bit lighter um, and that is what you see here to highlight a little bit on my cupid's bow, my chin, my nose, and then on my forehead. So the next you're going to see me take my um, Real Techniques Beauty Blender. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend all of that in underneath my eyes. Um, again, my chin, cupid's bow, and all of that. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take some concealer and just clean up underneath my brows. My brows were already done off camera, so all I need to do is just clean that up a little bit. I'll be sure I take my Beauty Blender next um, and also set um, you know, that concealer with my Beauty Blender as well. Here, you're gonna see me taking a setting powder and I am just simply setting underneath my eyes. I don't like to have it sit too long. My skin gets kind of dry in the winter time. Um, and then I'm just taking a kabuki brush and then blending all of that out. Um, at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and contour a little bit and bronze. I just um, take my Morphe brush um, I got out of the holiday collection and then bronze my cheeks up. Um, I also bronze underneath my chin. And then I like to contour my nose just a little bit. Let that sit there. I do blend it out at the end of the video so you will see that later then i'm just going back in and cleaning up any of that bronzer as well here i'm taking the um jaclyn hill by morphe palette and i'm just um, applying my transition shade then i go back into the crease with a deeper shade just to kind of define the crease a little bit i do have hooded eyes so i do have to um you know kind of layer it a little bit now you're going to see me go back in with my Sigma brush and just blend all of those harsh lines out. Then I'm also taking a darker color um, and just adding some dimension to the outer V of my eyelid. So at this point, I'm still just blending it in, just making sure I don't have any harsh lines. Now I'm taking that Too Faced Born This Way concealer and I am currently cutting my crease. I like to use a flat brush, synthetic brush while I cut the crease. I'm also gonna cut um, up to that line um, where my crease does fold to. Laura 
RCA setting powder and setting that concealer just so that you know it doesn't move and I kind of prep it for the shadow that I'm gonna go in next blending a little bit onto that concealer again we don't want any harsh lines so i'm just taking um just the i don't have any product on that brush i'm just taking the brush and blending um and that um eyeshadow next you'll see me applying the jackie Ina la peach highlighter um this was with her collab with artist couture honey this is the start of the show it has so much pigmentation in it i was not disappointed whatsoever and here I just took a bronze shade out of the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe palette and just using that to further help transition between those two shades. I will be sure to link um, all of the shadows that I use down in the description bar below. Be applying the Ardell Debbie Wispy in 120. I did apply those off camera. And here you just see me taking um, a NYX eye coal. Um, it is like a beige color, and I'm just putting that in my waterline and finishing up with some mascara by Too Faced, the Better Than Sex Mascara. Next, you see me applying blush. I'm using the Saharan Blush Volume 2 Palette by Juvia's Place. I'm using the shade Lena, and I'm just applying that to both of my cheeks. Also setting that with a little bit more Fix Plus, and then I am following up with highlighter. I am using the Maybelline Molten Gold Highlighter. It is that metallic gold that they have. I absolutely love it. Um, so I'm just using that to highlight the highest points of my cheekbones. Um, my my cupid's bow my nose and my temples as well i am a sucker for highlighter so i am going crazy um, and then i'm also just making sure i highlight my inner tear duct as well with that same highlighter and last but not least i am um, finishing off with the lips i am lining my lips with a lip liner by kylie cosmetics in shade moon then i'm also using a mac cosmetics liquid lipstick it is their retro matte in shade back and vogue and i'm just blending that out and you guys that is it for the video thank you so much for watching i have so many things in store for you guys this is just the beginning um, again i appreciate the love thank you so much for watching Yeah, yeah, that's a type. It's a type. It's a type.